is up guys pro player apathy back in the building with some more iw beta gameplay and i am going to be playing on throwback i actually love this map this map seems to be pretty damn awesome but what today's video is going to be about is the evo the best submachine gun in the game or so i say or so people say and i really think this gun is very very powerful it melts it shreds it has good range this guy wants to get turned on dude don't he i'm scared guys i'm scared okay he's to my left and i got you this gun is basically, you're dead, basically like the PP90 in MW3. Now, I don't know how many people played MW3 here. Raise your hands right now if you did. Ha, got you. Because you probably can't, I can't see you that you're raising your hands. But this gun is a shredder. Basically like the PP90. It reminds me so much of the PP90. It's just a powerful a shredder gun that is insane. Honestly, love this gun. It's my type of gun my type of gun and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys uh, haven't tested it out a lot of you guys say oh the karma oh this oh that but you haven't really gave this gun a test and i don't know why maybe because like i said a lot of people have been talking high about the karma talking high about these other guns but trust me guys you won't regret it trying out this gun and using this gun it's a very nice gun unfortunately i just ran out of ammo so now i gotta go ahead and cook some fools with a different gun with the e-rat i guess where are you going? See this gun, they do not melt the same as my, my PP90 does. Look at this. It's a melt machine. Look at that. Look at that. Currently sitting at 16 and 0. Having some crazy, crazy dominant gameplay for you guys today. And I'm forced to use an E-Rad until I die. And hopefully I don't die, but I, I hopefully I do die. Oh my god, I just get hit with a massive stun or something. But I do want to die just because I get to use the E- um, Not the E-Rad. No, okay. All good, all good. It's actually good at that. Because I want to show you the guys this gun a little bit more. So, obviously, it's a very powerful gun. It's very strong. Like I said, it reminds me of the PP90. And I'd really recommend all of you to try it. All of you. Hello, pal. Nice. My name is Brian. Hello, Jill Yaskov actually is my last name as well, pal. And now the funny and crazy thing about this submachine gun is the fact that it could switch to an AR if you toggle it. Like triangle, it has an AR mode. It shoots a little bit slower, but the, it shoots a little bit farther. And it's actually really cool, but I would recommend you stay on the sub mode. Trust me, the sub mode is just way better. And it's just, it's a submachine gun, man. Use it as a submachine gun. Like this guy, this guy quit already. He's like, I'm out of here, bro. I'm freaking out of here. Like we're gonna try out the AR mode right here. Um, I'm not sure if I can find anyone. I'm attempting to, but we're gonna try out the AR mode. You can see it shoots slower. See, it shoots a lot slower. It's not like it's like. Do, 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 do. Oh, turn up. Nope. Didn't happen. Did that fool shoot my body? So just from this gameplay, you can see how how good this gun is. It's It literally melts. And it, I feel like it's underrated when it shouldn't be. But it's just a lot of hype around the Karma. A lot of hype around the other submachine guns. So, I mean, it happened. It is what it is. But this gun will literally... when you, I almost killed him while I was one shot. Stop shooting my body, you fucking trash can zebras. Freaking trash, kid. Look at him, 23 and 3. I'm literally destroying you. Go cap a flag. Oh, wait. You're a kill whore, too. Look at you, trash. Freaking. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean that. That kid's a monster. He is a beast from the east. I did not say such words, and I promise I didn't. But I would really recommend you try this. I know the beta is only a day or two left, and I'm trying my best to shoot this guy, and my kill gets stolen. That's freaking awesome. But I would recommend you try this. It's really fun. Uh, I, I'm really scared about competitive. This game is a little bit weird, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit scared. I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit you guys and just lie to you and be like, you know what? This game is the best game ever. You know, we're in for a good year. I wish I could say stuff like that. But fortunately, it's not all, it's not all rainbows. It's not all good and shit, so... <sighs> kind of sucks, but it is what it is, guys. In my opinion, this game is actually, like, really fun public-wise. The variant guns kind of kill it. I hate variant guns because, especially as a competitive player, and for someone who might not have the guns, I'm, f I'm forced to have the gun. But what if I don't have the gun? What do I do then? I'm forced to be a burger. I'm forced to be a burger. And it really sucks that the only way I can compete is if I get a variant gun on myself. And I, I really hate that idea. But, you know, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it that. What the hell is this guy? Oh, he's right there. It is what it is. And the only thing I can really tell you is that, like, I've been enjoying this game. I really have. Uh, at least the beta. The beta cap kind of kills it, you know, because you can't test it as much. But in my opinion, this game isn't really fun. 
Like I said, public-wise, it's been really fun. I'm very, very scared and for competitive. I feel like competitive might be a big... What's the word? A big fail. It might be a big fail. And there's nothing we could do about that because it's just a game that we, we're, we're handling. It's either this or play Black Ops 3 for another year and probably take off specialists. It's like... But that's not going to happen because Call of Duty revolves around a new game, revolves around a fresh game. It's not like Halo, so we're, we're basically forced to play a new game, even if we all wanted to play Black Ops 3. And, if, and the funny part, we actually, actually, a lot of us wanted to play Black Ops 3 for another year if we take off specialists and whatnot. Like, just take off specialists, maybe ban Afterburner forever, a uh, perma ban, but it would be more like, a lot, a lot more like standard COD, you know? You wouldn't be able to wall run as much without Afterburner. Uh, no specialists, there won't be like people like nuking you and heat waving you, it'd just be, it'd be more realistic COD. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? I got another Wraith. So I'm pretty scared, I'm not gonna lie. Well guys, we made them all forfeit, Em and Em <laughs> enemies forfeiting in 12 seconds. Uh, had some pretty dominant gameplay, 35 and 4, a lot of you guys were watching me just melt everybody, incinerate everybody. I'm kinda pissed that they left and I wanted to get some more gameplay for you guys, but unfortunately, you know, I can only show you so much, but I really recommend you use the Evo. Trust me, guys, it's a melt machine. Uh, I don't know how they're going to change it after the beta. They might change it a little bit. They might change it a lot. But in my opinion, it's probably the best submachine gun right now. Obviously, we haven't tried the UMP and the other two submachine guns that are unlocked. Those, I tried them out in the gun game. They were pretty good as well. So those might compete with it. But for now, in the beta, what we can use is that gun. This has been your boy, Apti. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I'm out. Peace. Have a good day.